Welcome to module nine of our course in management accounting. So a friend of mine, Bill, was wanting to start a food truck. And a couple months into this, Bill realized he had a beef problem. And in fact, it was just spending on beef. He was overspending on beef. And he came to me and he said, Tony, I got a beef problem. Can you help me? I know you're an accountant. I said, Bill, no worries. My charge out rate is $250 an hour. And since we're close friends, I'll do it for uh, just 200 for you. No, I'm just kidding. I did it for free, of course. Uh, so he said his cost of beef uh, should be two bucks a burger. But he was like overspending on beef and he couldn't like get a handle on what was going on and so i said okay well break down that two bucks a burger why do you think it costs you two bucks a burger and he said well this is the the situation beef should cost twenty dollars a kilogram and each burger i make uses about a hundred grams that's about a quarter pound of beef um a little bit less and so i just did the math right 0 0.1 and, and 100 grams of beef is 0 0.1 kilograms so 0 0.1 kilograms at 20 dollars a kilogram is two bucks a burger and i said absolutely the math checks out nothing wrong with that uh breakdown at all and so i said well you know tell me more uh, and so she said here's the problem uh last month i sold a thousand burgers but spent 2470 on beef and we look back and of course it should be two bucks a burger and so if it was two bucks a burger and you sold a thousand burgers you should have spent two thousand bucks you spent 2470 you blew the budget by 470 over budget right like bad news bill <laughs> and if i wasn't breaking the news to him he knew he was like yeah that's that's why i'm i'm talking to you like uh is there any way you can provide some insight as to what's going on here and that's what variance analysis is all about and that's a key topic of the chapter and so i said okay well let's you've given me some numbers and, and we'll break it down this is how an accountant would think of the numbers you gave us on the left i've got the standard it would like the supposed to it's supposed to cost 20 dollars per kilogram of beef and it's supposed to take 0.1 kilograms per burger and of course 20 times 0.1 is it's supposed to cost as he said 20 times 0.1 is two dollars per burger right that's uh what it's supposed to be the actuals though he made a thousand burgers this is what actually happened bought and used 130 kilograms now i had to ask him about that that wasn't in the fact pattern but he bought and used 130 kilograms of beef this will be important in future questions the the person who's going to buy a different amount of beef or whatever material from what they use uh because of course it's very easy he could have bought 140 kilograms of beef and only used 130 and he's got 10 kilograms in the fridge for tomorrow right very common that you buy and use a different amount of material and we will see that in future problems but for this one our first one he bought and used the same amount of beef that's fine and that's actually kind of normal too and he spent 24 70 doing it and so we had all the information we needed to like break it down like what's going on here why is he seemingly overspending can we get to the bottom of this and variance analysis says yes so uh here's how we're going to do variance analysis i'm going to actually bring this up to be closer to my standards here let's see if i can move that up there we go and we can have the standards and actuals on the same page so aqap aq stands for actual quantity ap for actual price aqsp actual quantity standard price and sqsp standard quantity standard price and as we compare these amounts we can get some insight into did bill blow the budget because he's paying too much for beef or did bill blow the budget because he's either using too much beef or spoiled the beef why did he blow the budget that's what variance analysis helps us to determine because there's no doubt he blow, blew the budget by 470 uh, dollars so the first one aqap actual quantity of beef uh purchased now you can see i break it down into dm purchased <clears throat> and over here dm used in this case purchased and used will be the same but we're still gonna use the prongs here so okay uh the actual quantity bill purchased was 130 kilograms right the beef purchased uh is measured in kilograms the actual price is the actual price 
per kilogram, AP per unit, I guess. Actual price per kilogram. Uh, I'm going to need a calculator here. He purchased, uh, he spent 2470 divided by 130 kilograms. He spent $19 per kilogram, right? That's his actual price per kilogram, $19 per kg. So 130 times 19 is 2470. That's the amount he spent on beef. So the left prong is the amount you spent on your material. AQSP. So uh, let's again, AQ is the actual quantity of materials purchased. And that was 130 kilograms. SP is the standard price per kilogram. Well, the standard price per kilogram is 20 bucks a kilogram. So AQ times SP, 130 times 20 is 2,600, but I'll just make sure in my calculator it is indeed $2,600. So we've got a variance here. The difference between this left prong and this kind of middle prong, that is a variance, and the variance is $130. So that uh, explains $130 of the difference. But the question is, is this good news or bad news? And in a variance analysis, we don't say good news, bad news, or good, bad. We say favorable or unfavorable. Is this variance favorable or unfavorable? And to figure that out, you look at what's different. So the quantities are not different. The prices are different. Bill is supposed to pay 20 bucks a kilogram. Bill actually paid $19 a kilogram. Is this good or bad? Well, the answer is it's good. He paid less than what he thought. And that'll happen, right? You go to the supermarket one day, beef costs one price. The next day, it costs a different price. And obviously, the price of beef went down. Now, that's weird living in the inflationary times we're living in. But okay, Bill got a break on beef. This is a favorable variance. He paid less than he expected. Let's move over to the uh, quantity variance. So AQSP, now as I said, often material used will be different from material purchased. He could have some beef left over, but in this case, he purchased and used 130 kilograms. So AQ, still 130 kilograms. SP, still 20 bucks. And yes, this prong is still 2,600. Often in future questions, it'll be a different number. Like these two numbers don't have to match because of course the amount purchased can be different from the amount used. SQSP, well, okay, SP still $20 per kilogram. SQ is the trickiest prong here. And you'll see me do this in all the questions. To figure out SQ, we say at the actual output, so for Bill, it's a thousand burgers. How much, and because we'll do variances for not just material labor, but also overhead, how much, in this case, material, should it take? How many kilograms of beef should it take? So at the actual output, the, the, given the fact that Bill actually made a thousand burgers, how much uh, beef should he have used according to standards? All right. So uh, if he made a thousand burgers, if I told him before the month, you're going to make a thousand burgers, he doesn't know how many customers are going to come in a day. Uh, how many, you're going to make a thousand burgers. It takes 0.1 kilograms per burger. It should have taken a hundred kilograms of beef to serve all of those customers. So his SQ here is a hundred kilograms. Hundred kilograms times twenty dollars per kilogram is two thousand dollars. So the difference here, again, the variance between the left calculation and the right is six hundred dollars. We're off by. $600. Now, is this a good variance or a bad variance? Oh, I said the wrong words. Is this a favorable variance or an unfavorable variance? And the answer here is, well, I should have used 100 kilograms of beef to serve all those customers. I actually used 130 kilograms of beef to serve all those customers. I used too much beef. This is unfavorable. So when we're breaking it down to my Good buddy Bill saying, Bill, why'd you blow the budget? The answer is not, well, you, your beef was expensive. And that could be the answer. In other questions, you know, it'll be the price that's the problem. Uh, but in this case, it's not the price. Like, you know, it got a great price on beef. The issue is 
he was using too much beef. So the question Bill would have to ask is, one, did some beef get thrown out, right? Did I just have to throw out some bad beef or something like this? Two, am I just using too much beef in every burger? That's the most likely thing that's going on here. He's making the patties too big or bigger than what he was expecting. And if so, is it just the standards out of date? Maybe we got to change the standard from 0.1 to 0.2 or whatever, you know, a, a bigger number. Um, that's possible. But the bottom line, and this gives Bill some insight into his business, you're using too much beef in the burger. If you made a recipe and you said the perfect burger uses 100 grams of beef and you're putting more beef in, yes, maybe your customers are getting a little more value, but you're not living up to your standard and that is the problem here. At the start, we said Bill blew his budget by $470. This breaks it down though. If you combine these, you go 600 unfavorable and 130 favorable, take the big one minus the small one, the big one gets the balance. Yeah, we're overall $470 unfavorable, but now we know a lot more about why. In this module, we'll do material, labor, and overhead variances. It's one of my favorite modules of the semester, and I can't wait to get started. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, and goodbye. The next video in our series is right up here, and if you want a supercut of all of the videos in this series, that's the one down below.